Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about the hypothalamus pituitary axis. If you want to skip to any particular section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description below. Please make sure to like and subscribe as this helps out our channel a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Let's start with a brief overview of the hypothalamus pituitary axis. This system consists of two main components, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus is a small region of the brain located just above the brainstem. The pituitary gland is a pea-sized gland located at the base of the brain. The hypothalamus pituitary axis regulates various functions in the body. This includes growth, metabolism, stress response, and reproduction. The hypothalamus releases hormones that signal the pituitary gland to release its own hormones. These hormones can act on the target organs to release more hormones or have the desired impact on the relevant tissues. One of the most well-known axes in the hypothalamus pituitary system is the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. This is also called the HPA axis. This axis regulates the body's response to stress by releasing hormones such as cortisol. When the hypothalamus senses a stressful situation, it releases corticotropin-releasing hormone. This signals the pituitary gland to release adrenocorticotropic hormone. Adrenocorticotropic hormone travels to the adrenal gland located just above the kidneys and stimulates them to release cortisol. Cortisol helps the body respond to stress. Another important axis is the hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis. This is also called the HPT axis. This axis regulates the body's metabolism by releasing thyroid hormones. The hypothalamus releases thyrotropin releasing hormone, which signals the pituitary gland to release thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone then stimulates the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormones, which are usually T4 and T3. These hormones regulate metabolism and energy levels in the body. Lastly, the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis is another well known axis. This is also called the HPG axis. The HPG axis regulates reproductive function. The hypothalamus releases gonadotropin releasing hormone, which signals the pituitary gland to release follicle stimulating hormone also called FSH, and luteinizing hormone, also called LH. FSH and LH then stimulates the ovaries in females and the testes in males to produce sex hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. The hypothalamus pituitary axis is a complex system that plays a vital role in regulating many physiological functions in our body. The HPA, HPT and HPG axes are just a few examples of the many axes that make up the system. Understanding how these axes work can help us better understand how our bodies function and can inform medical treatments of various conditions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.